Hi, I am Rahul Shah and I am ready to reveal the only training program you will ever need to build your own Forex Millionaire Portfolio. Join me at the Lazy Millionaire Summit on 24th January 5 pm. Click on the link in the description to block your free spot. People often get lured into investing in penny stocks as they offer quick and big bucks in no time. That's not always the case though. Even though penny stocks offer potentially higher rewards, they do come with higher risks. That is why you must separate the men from the boys and look for penny stocks which have a decent balance sheet, low or zero debt, and a track record for paying dividends. Now, these stocks fare much better against their peers and deserve to be a part of your watch list. Hi, this is Yazad. In today's video, let's take a look at five such penny stocks that should be on your watch list for 2022. The first one. Veritas India Veritas India is a commercial distribution and trading company which stocks, trades in and distributes bulk chemicals, rubber and metals. The company has three overseas subsidiaries, namely Veritas International FZ, Hazel International and Veritas America Trading Inc. It has big clients such as Reliance Industries, Indian Oil Corporation, Asian Paints, Kansai Nerolac and IOL Chemicals among others. Currently, the stock trades at 130 rupees, which is pretty high for a penny stock. So, what makes the company worthy of your watch list? Now, an important aspect we look for in stocks is if the company is able to maintain its debt levels and pay consistent dividends. Veritas has a check mark against both these points. For the past 11 years, the company's debt levels have stayed under control. It has maintained the debt to equity ratio below 1 in all instances. Veritas' latest debt to equity ratio stands at a low of just 0.2. Coming to dividends, the company has declared consistent dividends of 5% on its face value of Rs 1 starting from the year 2013, barring 2021. The company has performed even better in terms of financials. It has steadily increased its revenues and profits over the years. Net sales have grown from 1,455 crores to 1,876 crores with net profit rising significantly from just over 60 crores to 109 crores over the last five years. The promoters of Veritas have extensive experience in managing the commodity trading and distribution business. This is reflected in the significant scaling up of its operations. Interestingly, as of September 2021, FIIs hold 9.7% stake in the company. Next up on our list, number two, Sikajan India. Sikajan India is another company involved in the commercial distribution and trading business. It's involved in trading of building materials, sales and servicing, power and control systems, manufacturing of MS barrels and manufacture of water treatment chemicals. Starting from 2007, the company has maintained its debt levels under control. The debt equity ratio is below 0.3 in every instance. Currently, the debt equity ratio stands at just 0.16. Sikajan has consistently paid dividends over the past 10 years. Its average dividend yield for the past 5 years comes to over 3%, which is very good for a penny stock. While the company has good qualities of better dividend yields and lower debt to equity ratio, it has little to show on the financials front. While sales have more or less remained in the same range over the years, profitability has declined. The company has posted a loss of 3.2 crore rupees for the financial year ending March 2021. During 2021, the company's total income declined to 550 crores as against 700 crore rupees in fiscal 2020, majorly due to fluctuation in steel prices during the year and the COVID-19 impact. Despite all this, the company's capital structure seems decent with a net worth of almost 400 crores and lower leverage levels. Also, Sikajan India is a single point of contact for supplying building materials and has a net worth of 26 sales officers come warehouses across India. This gives the company an upper hand as its presence at multiple locations provides diversification in terms of geography. Over the past one year, shares of the company have gained 75% and remain volatile throughout the year. Number three on our list, we have Gujarat Industries Power Company Limited. The company is a Vadodara based company engaged in the business of power generation. It was incorporated in 1985 and it's promoted by three leading Gujarat PSUs, GUVNL, Gujarat Alkalis and Gujarat State Fertilizers. 
What makes the company worthy of your watch list? Here are some factors. Attaining normative plant parameters is difficult in lignite-based power plants compared to coal-based power plants. Now, this is on account of challenges involved in handling of lignite. With its healthy operating efficiency, the company has been able to achieve normative plant parameters historically. Coming to the company's leverage position, it has maintained a debt-to-equity ratio below 0.5 over the years. Its current debt-to-equity stands at just 0.22. On the dividends front, Gujarat Industries has consistently rewarded shareholders since 2004. It has paid dividends of around 20% on its face value of 10 since 2004. In the past six years, the dividends have increased to 27%, showing that the company is a dividend growth stock. At its current price, it offers a dividend yield of around 3%. Good. Coming to financials, have a look at the table which shows the company's financials over the years. Sales have been pretty stagnant over the last five years, but operating profit margins continue to remain healthy at over 35%. Despite all this, shares of the company have underperformed its peers and even the benchmark index, that too in a bull market. Now, the company has ambitious targets as it expects a profit of over 3 billion rupees in the fiscal 2022. The company's CFO said in an interview recently that it's expecting this profit because all machines are working well along with the solar and wind divisions. The company's key 125 megawatt lignite-based generation unit in Surat was shut down in December 2020, owing to a technical snag. It remains to be seen how the company performs in fiscal 2022. Number four, Karur Vaishya Bank. Karur Vaishya Bank is one such private lender which is underperforming its peers by a big margin. That too, despite the bank reporting decent performance one quarter after the other. Over the year gone by, shares of the company have gained a mere 5%. For the most recent quarter, the bank improved its credit offtake in retail and business segments. Its bad loans also fell. This resulted in a 43.5% growth in its net profit to Rs. 170 crores. This was also its highest net profit in the last 17 quarters. Now, Even though asset quality improved, the interest income has remained flat at 14 billion rupees. The bank also has a strong record of paying big dividends. Between the years 2004 to 2016, it paid dividends amounting to over 100% on its face value of Rs. 10. Now, the bank did not declare any dividend in fiscal 2020 as banks were mandated to reserve the amount for strengthening their balance sheets. For fiscal 2021, it declared a dividend of Rs. 0.5 per share. In an interview last month, the bank's MD and CEO B. Ramesh Babu said they have invested a lot in the digital space in the last four years. The bank has even partnered with fintechs and NBFCs for co-lending partnerships. To improve its branch presence, as the number of branches have come down, Tarur Piyasa Bank is planning to open 15 new branches. Now note that foreign investors, domestic institutions, including mutual funds, financial institutions and insurance companies all have some exposure to the bank. Here's something interesting. Did you know that Karur Piyasa Bank is a 100-year-old bank? Now, completing 100 years is by no means easy to survive for most businesses. Very few businesses have achieved this rare feat. Karur Piyasa Bank is one of them. Finally on our list, number 5, Om Infra. Om Infra is the flagship company of the Om Kotari Group, which is engaged in diversified activities including turnkey solution for hydro mechanical equipment, for hydropower and irrigation projects, real estate development, and civil construction. The company has also forayed into construction of dams and reservoirs on EPC bases, along with fabrication and installation of hydromechanical equipment. Om Infra is one of the leading players in the industry and has been around for over four decades. The company has maintained its debt at either zero or negligible levels on its balance sheet. The company has a consistent track record of paying dividends. For fiscal 2021, it declared a dividend of 0 0.40 rupees per share. Now, although the company has posted steady profits starting from the year 2005, the profit has declined over the past three years. Over the past one year, shares of the company are up over 100%. With that, we come to the end of our list today. So, what is the right penny stock strategy? Since all investing comes with risk, diversifying your portfolio with penny stocks is a good strategy. But here's the crux. 
there are around 1000 penny stocks that are vying for your attention. And if you don't know how to say no to more than 90% of them, you are going to end up with a lot of junk. Now that is why you need a strong framework, a framework that would not only zeroes in on the right stock at the right price, but also helps you avoid big losers. The game of investing is getting more and more competitive. Millions of Indians are making a beeline to create wealth in the stock markets. But do they really have a long-term wealth creation map? Are their portfolios ready to ride bull cycles and endure bear cycles too? Or perhaps turn bear markets to their advantage? Our co-head of research at Equity Master, Rahul Shah, belongs to this extraordinary category. And he's proved his mettle across market cycles and across his various recommendation services. And now, for the first time in 15 years, he's ready to train you with all his secrets, techniques and strategies exactly the way he does it, so that you can potentially build your own 4x millionaire portfolio. In short, you could soon lay your hands on the only training program you'll ever need to achieve full financial freedom. The best thing is, this requires quite surprisingly very little effort and very little risk. Sign up for the Lazy Millionaire Summit on 24th January at 5 p.m. and you will see it for yourself. I've also added a link to register for the summit in the description of this video. Do go ahead and sign up. It's free. That's all for this week. Hope to see you soon. Happy investing. Stay safe. Goodbye. The way you pick stocks, the way you build your portfolio, and the way you make money in the markets will change radically and immediately. That's my guarantee. Click here to reserve your free spot for the Lazy Millionaire Summit. See you there.